Productions. How to ride the subway in Los Angeles. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And in this video, I'll be telling you how to ride the subway in Los Angeles. Now, not a lot of people seem to know that there is a subway in Los Angeles, but let me tell you there is. It is clean, fast, modern, and efficient. So if you come to downtown Los Angeles in particular, you should definitely check out and ride the subway. So I'll tell you everything you need to know to ride it. The first thing is the fares. They come on these tap cards. You you have to buy one of these cards. They cost one dollar. You buy them from the vending machines at any one of the uh, subway stations, and uh, then you load money on the cards. An adult ride is a dollar seventy-five anywhere you want to go on the subway. So it's pretty cheap. Um, disabled or seniors are like thirty-five cents off peak hours. That is pretty cheap too. Uh, when you get this card, you will tap it in the turnstiles to come in. If there are turnstiles, if there aren't turnstiles, then you'll just tap it on one of these tap reads. The blue line, which is uh, underground some stations and above ground others, doesn't have turnstiles, so you just tap it before you ride. The stations that don't have turnstiles, they operate on the honor system, so don't forget to tap. It is kind of an honor system, but if they catch you, well, I guess that's illegal. Um, also, you only have to tap to come in. You don't have to tap to get out. And uh, when you do tap in, your transfers are valid for two hours, as long as you're going in the same direction that you started. So you can transfer from the subway to the bus, Tap, that's all you gotta do, tap, tap, tap. The red and the purple lines of the subway, those are the actual subway underground stations, uh, and there's a number of other lines that go above ground. There's actually quite an extensive network. The purple and the red line, uh, most times throughout the day, come every six minutes. On the station platforms, you'll see signs that'll tell you how long it is before the next train comes. And on the trains, uh, there are the maps on the trains and also pretty good auditory signals to tell you what station you're at. The stations also have very good and detailed station directories. They all have bus and rail system maps so you can see your connections. They also have local area maps so you can see the local area that you're in. They'll give you a big map of the whole system and uh, well, hey, they'll tell you how to ride. But of course, you already know how to ride so you won't need that sign. The stations are all pretty new. Most of them have some sort of artistic decoration. Uh, this is the 7th Street and Metro Center station. Uh, I guess this decoration is an advertisement. There's all escalators in the station so you don't have to schlep upstairs. The one thing I will say I have not seen in a lot of the stations is bathrooms. So you might want to use the bathroom before or after you get on the train. As you can see, riding the subway in LA, it is easy, fast, clean, efficient. So if you come to downtown Los Angeles, definitely check out the Los Angeles subway, also known as the LA Metro. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to see new videos like it every Sunday, please subscribe. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching some of my other videos. Click over here to watch some of them or click on the yellow ball to subscribe. Thanks, bye-bye.